Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you what a typical workday looks like for me as a creative director at a fully remote tech company. I always start my day with my morning skincare routine because I never feel fully awake without washing my face. And then I head to the kitchen to make myself some coffee. Since my company is fully remote, I tend to move around to different cities and countries. Right now, I'm in this beautiful home in Venice Beach, California, and I'm really enjoying taking advantage of the sunshine and the warm weather. So I'm gonna journal and do some reading before we jump into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome, hi, hello, if you're new here. My name is Alex and I'm a digital nomad, splitting my time between LA, Italy, and other amazing parts of the world. I'm also obsessed with thrifting fashion and home decor and post a lot of thrift with me's, redecorating my home, and that kind of content on my channel. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different, showing you what other creative things that I get up to in a typical work day at my nine to five, how I've been living in Los Angeles for four months without a car, and how I'm prepping for my next adventure. I'll be headed to Mexico for a few months for my next stop. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're interested in following me along on my travels and my thrifting adventures, and give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more day in the life content from me. So I already went through the first part of my morning routine and got some reading and some journaling in, which has been my priority in the mornings before getting started with work. By the way, today I am wearing a really casual work from home outfit. This top I thrifted here in LA. It was actually one of the first things that I thrifted when I got here in LA a few months ago. Just a very casual, lightweight, long sleeve top. And I'm wearing these white gray champion joggers and I just like to be really comfortable when I'm working from home. I do tend to change a few times throughout the day. I'm gonna work out later. Um, so this is just kind of like my morning outfit. Elevated, it's like one level above pajamas. <laughs> now I'm going to jump into checking emails and Slack messages and then we'll take a few meetings this morning. I've just been working throughout the morning. It's now 12 15 and one of my favorite things about working for a fully remote tech company is that I get to structure my day around meetings and deadlines. So I personally really love working out in the middle of the day. It's when I feel my energy is the best. I'll go into a little bit more detail about that and intermittent fasting when I cook lunch. But for now, I'm going to get in a quick workout. I posted on TikTok about my favorite free YouTube channels that I follow. I usually do Mad Fit, Chloe Ting, or Boho Beautiful Yoga workouts in the middle of the day. Those are the three channels that I follow. And they all have workouts that are under 20 minutes. So it's perfect for a midday workout. So I'm just going to go ahead and change and get that in. I'm in the kitchen now, so that's some of the ticking and sizzling you can hear in the background. So I've been doing intermittent fasting for about five years now. So this will be my first meal of the day. It's currently 2.15. I typically break my fast between 1 and 2 p.m., but I have a meeting until 2 today, so I'm breaking it a little bit later. I really love intermittent fasting. It helps me a lot during the week 
to keep my focus. And then I'm more relaxed about it on the weekends. If I wanna to go to brunch or have a proper breakfast, I will definitely let myself do that. So I am cooking up a quick breakfast burrito. I've got two eggs cooking here. I've got my whole wheat tortilla in the toaster oven to warm up. And then I'm gonna add arugula and some other fixings and eat that up. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the fitness and food changes that I've made lately, but leave me a comment down below if you're interested in hearing more about the changes that I made after using Noom, eating more low calorie dense foods, eating high carb, low fat. So leave me a comment down below if you're interested in hearing more about that in an upcoming video. For now, I'm gonna finish cooking and then I typically like to read or watch a YouTube video while I eat lunch and then I'll typically step outside just to have a little break in the sunshine before getting back to work. So since I do work nine to five, I've been trying to be more intentional with my breaks in my day. So I like to put my phone down and read a book or step outside and get some fresh air and move my body. I've been back in LA for about three months now and it's been so magical to be here during springtime. I live around a lot of beautiful gardens and it just gives me so much energy to go outside and take a look at flowers and nature. All right, so I moved up into my little attic office for some more meetings and, and to be able to concentrate a little bit more because I do share my home with other people. So I tend to move around a lot depending on the kind of work I'm doing, if I need to really concentrate or if I'm doing more like creative stuff where I can be in a shared space. I work as a creative director, also known as a creative strategist or an art director. The type of work I do really depends on the phase of the project I'm in, but typically my days look like crafting the storytelling of marketing campaigns. So that can look like doing market research, brainstorming, building creative briefs and project proposals, checking in with the contractors and other people on my team that are doing a lot of the production work, like designers, video editors, and then looking at the data to analyze how our campaigns have done. So since I'm gonna do a little bit of that deep focus work right now, I came into my office and I'll do that for the next probably hour or so. I like to do Pomodoro breaks so that I can keep my focus and that way I get to stretch my legs a little bit while I'm doing deep work. I also like to change up my environment depending on what I'm doing. So when I'm doing visual and graphic work, I like to whip out my iPad and sit in a fun spot like my hammock. <sighs> okay, finally done. Now for the best part of the day. Let's go thrifting. After thrifting, I met up with some friends for happy hour and then dinner. This isn't an everyday thing for me, but since I'm leaving LA soon, I am trying my best to see all my friends and family and get some quality time in with them before I leave the country. All right, so I am back home now, as you can see. I had a delicious dinner and a fun happy hour with friends. So now I'm gonna start winding down for the night. I made myself a big cup of herbal tea and I'm gonna go ahead and do my nighttime skincare routine. And then I'll probably finish off the night by reading a few more pages from my book. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments down below what else you want to see in these day in the life type videos. And until next week, bye. Thank you.